Hey there, and welcome to Microsoft Teams 101, a place where you can learn the ins and outs of Microsoft's classroom-based learning platform. I'm Mr. Tofts, your school librarian. As of the recording of this video, it's August, and the new school year is fast approaching. One of the most important things to consider as a teacher is the learning management system that you'll be using in the upcoming year. It's important to start them in September and be consistent with them all year. I work in a district that largely invests in Office 365, and these videos are predominantly created for the staff and teachers there. However, if you use Teams or are interested in how it's used in education, then I hope you find these series of videos valuable. Or else I'm just some guy in a Boba Fett mask on YouTube talking to myself. And with that said, let's just jump into this first video that mainly centers around Microsoft Teams' interface and how to create a team within the platform. So this is Microsoft Office 365's main page. We've seen this before, uh, and it has all of the apps that we use in it. Our email, to OneDrive, to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, SharePoint, and down here with Teams. Now I'm gonna click on Teams right here, and it's gonna open up, and right away, if you've used it before, you may notice something a little bit different, that they kinda use this grid format now, which is an update um, that they just did uh, very, very recently for this upcoming school year. Uh, and it's something that I'm really glad they did. They took a lot of teacher feedback in this uh, update that they did. Um, and I think this is such a great change because now students and teachers can kind of see the team that they're in, go right into it, and they don't have a useless or kind of distracting information on the side that kind of confuses them. Um, so with that said, I would just want to focus on the, um, the interface over here, really on this side of the screen right here with these four things. So. Some of these things I never really use when I use Teams, um, and not because they're useless, but because they're just things that I think I use other things for. Um, so right off the bat, let's just kind of go down the line here. So I have my activities, and you'll see when I, when I click on activity, it's gonna bring up a team because they're associated with these things. Really what I want you to think about is that this area of Teams right here is kind of all of your notifications across all of your teams, whether that be things that students are saying to you, um, whether conversations you're having back and forth with teachers, whether that be assignments being turned in, just a whole bunch of anything that you get a notification for uh, will show up right here across all your teams. Um, let's come down here to chat. Now chat right here, I find myself never using it, but really it's kind of like an instant messaging program. Um, where you can talk to and have private uh, instant messages with everyone uh, across your network, whether that be students, whether that be teachers. Um, you can send files back and forth directly. Um, in my district, we kind of really use Outlook uh, and email for that, so I never really actually click on here, but it's there for you. I'm going to jump over Teams and we'll get back to that in a second. I'm going to go to Assignments. Now I will go into the assignments in greater detail in a, in a subsequent video, but just for now know in this interface portion that all of your assignments across all of your teams, things that you've drafted, things that you've assigned, and even things that you've grade, graded, and even an area where you can create them can be accessible right here. What I love that, that Teams did is that that's pretty much it in terms of interface, and they got rid of all the things that kind of were confusing. So let me jump into my teams right here. Um, I'm in right now my ninth grade team because I kind of clicked on it when I was in the activities. So I'm going to go back to all teams. And really, this is how I get in and out of teams now. So if I want to go into my um, software engineering uh, ninth grade team, I click on it. It takes me in there. Um, and I will get into what all these things uh, are in later videos. And I go back. That's really how you get in and out of teams now, which again is in part of the update. And I think that is great. Um, but I wanna go into, uh, let's see how to join or create a team. Now, if you set up a team and you want students to join, they're gonna do this exact same thing. Um, or if a staff member creates a team and you wanna join it, it's the exact same thing. Um, let's create a team. So right off the bat, I'm met with these three things. I don't actually know why this Golden State Warrior thing is right here and I don't know how to delete it, but I am going to ignore it. So let's focus on this one right here. If I have a code um, and I wanna join a team, I enter it right there, I click join team, I'm in the team and it will show up over here. If I wanna create a team, I click on create a team and I'm presented with these options right here. Now, if you're creating a team for a classroom use where you want assignments, um, you know, group projects and collaboration, you're gonna click classes. However, 
you may want to have one that goes through the whole school you may want one that goes through a whole department or you may want to have one that goes through clubs and, and interest groups and if you do those things you may have different um you know focuses for them and mainly if you want assignments uh turned in and, and things of that nature you're going to want to hit classes and you're going to want to name your team so let's call this team um i'll make a software engineering uh let's spell engineering correctly there we go um we'll make it grade 11. Um, this is a class i've taught in previous years and let's just say this is a class for 11th graders that covers advanced coding let's spell that right too advanced coding concepts and we'll hit next but before i do that let's say i had already made a team um, or let's say I make this team and then I want to make like, let's say I have two sections of this course and I don't want to make this team and set everything up and then do everything again. I can create a team from an existing team, which is a new, which is a new feature this year. And if I, let's say I had this set up the same way and I wanted to do it, I could do that, but I don't just so you know, it's there. Um, and oh no, it took away my stuff here. So I guess that's a good thing to anticipate, uh, engineering, I didn't spell it again so I guess if I spelled it wrong twice that means I don't know how to spell it um, 11 and I'm just gonna leave this description blank because it is optional and I'm gonna click next now this is creating the team now right here if you have students that you want to add you can just start typing their names um, and creating a list right up here um, if you have teachers here um, like co-teachers you can add them as well so I'm gonna skip this for now um, and there you go my team is automatically set up uh, i'm gonna ignore these things over here but i will get into them um let's say i want to change this image right here and i want to let's say make it a video game icon because it is uh, all about um coding and things of that nature um i could even let's see i'm not a primary teacher i'm a secondary teacher it is engineering which is fine let's say update those are just things to like define i don't have to put those information or that information there um and that's pretty much it this is how you set up a team um and if i wanted to generate a team code um i totally could um i believe that is in the manage team settings um and i can go through this back end right here to kind of get um, my team code which i will generate it um, and then there we go. I can make this full screen so that it shows up and I can display that to my students Or I can get rid of that right there now I'm gonna go back this way right here to all teams because I want to get out of that team And you can kind of see that now this is here So if I wanted to jump back into this team, I can get back into here I get back out of here. I go into here and back and forth. So this is really it right here. This is how you um use the interface of Microsoft Teams, and this is how you kind of create a team, have people join it, and really start the whole process. So, I thank you for joining me for this video right here, um, introducing you to the layout of Microsoft Teams. Um, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me. Um, you can tweet me, at Mr. Toffs, you can email me, mrtoffs at gmail.com, um, and if you're in my school, you can always email me at my work uh, email as well. Um, thank you for your time. I hope this helped.